A major beach restoration project is putting sand onto an eroded beach in St. Johns County, but where is the sand coming from? Not from the ocean floor. The Army Corps of Engineers is placing sand on a two and a half mile stretch of Volano Beach. You're going to see that coming up here in yellow. The sand is being dredged from two areas close to the fort in St. Augustine, just west of the St. Augustine Inlet. That's in blue on the map right there. Jessica Clark is on your side explaining who's going to be affected by this dredging project. Just out from downtown St. Augustine, out from the fort is this big guy, a dredger, eight stories tall and longer than the wingspan of a 747. Its job is to stir up the sand at the bottom of the intracoastal waterway, vacuum it up, and send the sand through pipes up onto the coast and restore more than two miles of Volano Beach. We nourishing this segment of a highly critically eroded beach. The dredger is pulling up 1.3 million cubic yards of sand. That's enough to fill about four. 400 Olympic sized swimming pools. The dredging will affect people and animals. So let's start with boating. Charter fishing captain Kevin Favor says when the dredging is done, the result will help boaters big time. People who don't know the area that well, I mean, they, they run up on that sandbar a lot. So um, should, should be, it actually should help boaters. Uh, to get rid of that sandbar. The dredger arrived in October and will be working into December. One fisherman told me that is a great time for this project to happen. If they had started that in April and gone through, you know, the summertime, it, it, the, the boat traffic is quadrupled at that time of year. As for fishing, fishermen will flock to that spot when it's deeper. When, whenever you take a deep hole like that, I mean, that's what you're, a lot of times when you're a fisherman, that's what you're looking for. As for an environmental impact, not much around the dredge site, according to environmentalist Jane West. But where the sand is getting pumped to, it's a different story. She says that eroded beach will benefit from a wider coastline. The alternative is to put up a seawall, what we call hard armoring, and that is definitely not a good environmental solution. Just some of the effects from this giant contraption sitting in the water in St. Augustine. Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.